All right, let's take a look out there at uh, what we got going on, which is a few scattered showers and a lot of wind. And this is really just the beginning of this system. Let's take a look at what I've got on my computer graphics here because I want to start with the temperatures across the area. Interestingly enough, we have really, really warmed up. I've got about 43 degrees at O'Hare, 46 Midway, 39 for Aurora. It's a little bit cooler there. So obviously these temperatures are incredibly mild for this time of the year. Uh, we're going for a high up around 50. We have a few scattered showers out there right now. There they are on the tracker. Watch what happens in tomorrow morning time period. We see again scattered showers, nothing monumental, but then boom through the overnight and into early Saturday morning. We start to get some intensity of rain and a little bit of rain snow mix. This is midday on Saturday, a little bit of snow north of the border, mixed precip pretty much everywhere else. And we're talking about that continuing into Saturday evening. These latest computer runs have less snowfall in them than previously thought. That's at least how it stands right now. We do have a flood watch up for the entire area from Friday evening through Saturday because we're going to see incredible amounts of rainfall. A lot of moisture for the system, especially by January standards. Here's a look at where we're going more than three inches possible in spots. This is just one of our snowfall trackers giving us an idea of what's possible up to two, maybe five inches, possibly a little bit closer to the Wisconsin border. I just want you guys to know that that can and will change because when you're on that rain snow line, sometimes it's hard for the models to even pick up on what type of precipitation it is and we're right there. So it's, it's a little dicey, but uh, we'll keep you posted on the latest.